Hello, my name is Omar Martinez, and I will be doing a quick overview of the hero portrait for Kalateri. First step, pick a hero. After you pick a hero, you are going to sketch and design a t-shirt of your hero using four colors. Colors being black, white, and two grayscales. After you have created that, you will use that grayscale portrait of your hero to go through the color relationships. You'll be doing monochromatic, complementary, split comp, double comp, analogous, triadic, and then you will pick your final t-shirt design. After you have chosen your final t-shirt design, you will go into silk screen separations and create a screen for each color of your design going on the t-shirt. Then you will create a t-shirt mock-up using the t-shirt template which we gave you. Going over the color relationships. Grayscale, make sure only four colors. A lot of times people have multiple grays, a couple different dark grays, a couple different light grays. Um, only four colors, including the background. Monochromatic is a four color relationship. So that means you have to have change all of your colors to be in that same color scheme for monochromatic. Complementary is a two color relationship. So since it's a four color design, I'm allowed to keep the black and the white and then add those two colors. Split complementary is a three color relationship. So I can keep the black or the white. And here I chose the black, you see there's no white, and then there's a three color split complementary relationship. Double complementary is a four color relationship. So there is no black and no white, only the four colors in relationship. Analogous is a four color relationship. So no black, no white, just use the four colors in within the analogous color relationship. Triadic is a three color relationship. So I can keep the black or the white. As you can see in the example, I kept the white and the rest of the colors in relationship. Then your final design. Your silk screen separation will be done in the template in which we gave you on the workflow. After you have chosen this template or gone through this, make sure to write down all of your Pantone colors that you've chosen for each color and place them in your InDesign template presentation. And then your mock-up is also a PSD template which we gave you so you can create your artwork in there and have the mock-up at the end of your project. Enjoy and have fun.